This week on Common Sense. Last week, in the Providence Journal, Senator Ed O'Neill pro-offered the shocking opinion that the reason there's so much popular pushback to the big bond and the governor's truck tolling plan is that the average Rhode Islander doesn't trust his or her elected representatives as far as they can throw them. Are you kidding me? Senator, I'd say they don't even trust them half that far. Look at all the promises that have failed to materialize. We were told that the income from the state lottery was dedicated to public education. You know, buy a couple of tickets. It's for the kids. We were told that the state tax on gasoline was a dedicated revenue stream devoted to maintenance of roads and bridges. Sure. That's why we now have the big bond hanging over us. Lord knows what happens when those proceeds go to the general fund, too. All Rhode Island mayors, town managers, school superintendents, school committee members, zoning board members, judges, department heads, and thousands of other public officials are subject to ethics commission jurisdiction. So why should 113 members of the legislature be immune, immune from investigation? Why? Because sen former Senate President William V. Irons needed a get out of jail card one day. So until the Senate Judiciary Committee does more than just debate an amendment to fix that little problem, every year the skepticism will continue. Until present Senate Ke President Teresa Priva Weed brings the measures to the floor so senators can be put on record, the voters will ignore her other promises. Until the governor and the speaker come out publicly either for or against ethics in government, the sarcastic jokes will continue. By the way, Ed O'Neill knows all of this. Why do you think he's an independent? Are you kidding me? is on Verizon Channel 34 or Cox Channel 15. Saturdays at 4 p.m. and Sunday at 10 a.m. Find us on Facebook at Common Sense and on Twitter at, at Common Sense RI.